Hey guys, I'm Tommy Vaughn with No Weight Guide Service here in beautiful Northeast Oklahoma. And I've always had people ask me, how do I clean paddlefish? I'm gonna show you real quick on this video. So a lot of people heard about pulling the spinal cords. I haven't done that in a long time. I wanna come right behind this dorsal fin. And I'm gonna cut down. I'm gonna let him bleed out. And that's all waste, it's all red meat. And the reason I do that I believed when I pulled the spinal cord it would stop the heartbeat and I'll show you something a little trick here in just a second so you're gonna run that knife kind of like you're skinning a deer and you don't want to cut real deep because if you do you'll get into their innards right there and that okay. doesn't smell very good so you guys can kind of see this colored line right here this is all belly skin there's no meat in it just red meat so I'm gonna go up here there's a little knuckle right here you can kind of feel it. This is all skin, but when you get right here, you got something attached right there. Okay, right behind, let me trim this off real quick for you. There's a little knuckle right there, kind of like a leg on a piece of chicken. <laughs> so I'm gonna follow this line down right here. You don't have to be precise. We're gonna cut that down. And when you do, you have that fin right there come down and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side you're gonna come in hit that little joint then you're gonna turn your knife and you're gonna go right down that belly meat just like that and then the next thing you want to do is the liver there's this heart and stuff you want to come in and you don't want to cut all the way in but you want to cut back in there kind of at 45 at there 45 at there and you can kind of feel there's still something hanging. Now, get in there and get that air bladder. He's hanging on to him, huh? Come on. <laughs> Being shy on T. <laughs> then you want to pull it out. You want to peel all that out. There's his bladder, air bladder right there. I try to get most of that out so we don't leave it on our final product. And seriously, most of the time that all pulls out with it. Hold up there. That's good enough. So, another trick is right here's their spinal cord. I'm going to hit this and watch this thing bleed. Wow. So, it kind of vents it and lets it finish bleeding out. Because with these paddlefish, you definitely want to get the blood out of them because their blood goes through their pore. Now, we know his spines are right here. So, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut right down the side like this and when I get right here I'm gonna turn it just a little bit around that fin mm -hmm. all the way down then I'm gonna come down this side and do the same thing kind of like just back strapping an old deer okay gotta give it a turn and then at least I'm gonna have you grab that bag right there mm -hmm. so you want to come in here and you can see right here this is cartilage, part of its head. So you want to run that knife right against it. Don't waste no meat. And then you're going to come all the way to where you set your first cut. Right there. And then over here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to turn that knife. I don't know what angle it is. That angle right there. <laughs> and then what I do is, is I cut me a little slice right there. And you can see that blood coming through those pores right there. That's why we talk about having to soak this meat out. Because when you're done, you want that meat to be pure white like that. So anything like this skin you want trimmed. And then you can see right here is a layer of red meat. You definitely want to trim that off. And what you do is you just take your knife and kind of trim off a little extra. You can kind of see a spinal cord there. A little energy you can kind of trim. And what I do is I'll soak these fish. 12 to 24 hours in heavy salt water and ice and it firms that meat up and it makes it so much easier to trim off the waste. Kind of cut that like that. And there's you a spoonbill fillet, man. Mm, <laughs> I'm like stoked. The main thing about it, if you're fishing in Oklahoma, you see how we got these fish tagged. And what you want to do is, is keep that fish individually bagged and with the tag in the meat so it verifies what you caught. Each piece of fish has to be identified. You can tell there, got in a little bit with our little cut right there. 
you get a lot of meat. Like, there's not a whole lot of waste on that fish. No. Nope. Like, and just the main thing is when you're trimming it up, if you see something that doesn't look right, mm -hmm. just, like I said, you can see the blood in there. Yeah. But when you're trimming this up, if something doesn't look right, trim it off. Because like I said, that's your meat. You can see okay. the texture. It's mm -hmm. like a steak-like texture. Mm -hmm. We put that in there. And then we just throw this in there. And bam, Perfect. there's your fish. Perfect. Thanks, Thanks for Tony. watching, guys. That's how you clean a paddlefish in Oklahoma. <laughs> Appreciate it. Check out No Weight Guide Service.